Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. This is Wendy Key, and thank you again for joining me for another video devotional. First of all, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for just waking me up this morning, starting me on my way, and just laying his words in me and on my heart so that I can share with you guys. And I also like to thank a lot, thank a lot of my subscribers and people that are on different pages sending me suggestions, feedback, and comments, and everything that you've done, even those that have sold into the ministry lately, I thank you, whether it be in word, deed, or any type of financial contribution. I'm always appreciative of that. So God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. I'll tell you what, you guys do not know the warfare I had to go through this morning just to get this video recorded. First of all, I messed up several times, so I had a lot of bloopers. Then on top of that, uh, I always try to get these videos posted before 10 o'clock. And the reason why is because I'm constantly doing so much. I had some errands to run this morning, and I'm back here. And my look, one of my children, um, she's three years old. She wakes up like super early, so a lot of times I try to record videos before she wakes up in the morning. So um, I wasn't successful with that this morning. So actually, I have my teenager watching her now, so that I can get this quick video devotional in. So I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you, those that are subscribing, just everyone. So let me just get right into it. Your devotional today is coming from 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. And it declares, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. All things have become new. God is good. And I'll tell you what, this word is very relevant, especially for the Christian, whether you are old Christian or new Christian or just really coming to know the Lord. And really, I don't even really like to use the word Christian because I guess a lot of times that word is overrated. I like to use the word a new believer, a born again believer, or a spirit filled believer. And I'll tell you why. A lot of times, I guess we have not really lived up to that name. And therefore, I guess that name is not as good as we want it to be to other people. But the main thing I want to say to you, those of you that have not read my testimony, it's over at windykey.com. Let me warn you before you go there, I am working on the website. I realize it doesn't have a lot of pages up right now, and I'm constantly busy. But you, this is the summertime as I'm recording this video. The children are off during the summer, and my life really has just been one thing after another, one thing after another. I thank the Lord for Jesus because he has brought me through many challenges and many obstacles. What I want to tell you today is that uh, in my before I knew Christ as my Lord and Savior, and before he came into my heart, my life was not where I wanted it to be. And I mean, I was into just so many things. I can remember one of the addictions that I struggled with was a cigarette addiction. And I really, I had to have those cigarettes. I'll tell you what, if I didn't get my cigarette, I was mean and, you know, not only that addiction, but it was many other addictions as well. And I'm sure I'll be sharing with you some of those things that God delivered me from. However, it has been now, I have been 13 years smoke free. So to God be the glory for that, because if it had not been for him on my side, I don't know where I would be. So I was talking with my dad the other day and my dad, I love him, love him, love him. He is my biggest fan. Um, He's been helping me with a lot of the ministry and taking my book into bookstores or my books into bookstores and just doing a lot for me. So I really appreciate that. I'm really appreciative of him. We were talking on the phone the other day and I was thinking, he was thinking about one time when I was a teenager and, you know, just some crazy stuff that I had done. And I said, Daddy, I said, that was before I even knew the Lord. You know, I, I guess a lot of times before we come to the Lord and before we know the Lord, some of us are fortunate that we don't really have to experience a lot of hardship and pain and trial in, the, in our lives. And that's good. And I'm glad for you. And on the other hand, some of us have really been through a lot because I mean, I tell myself all the time, I thank God that I don't look like what I have been through because this lady right here has been through the storm, have been through the fire. Some of the things if I would share with you guys, you would not really believe what the Lord has done in my life, things he has delivered me from. And so I know and I believe that Jesus is real. But I'll tell you, I did not really understand 
him as being a real God and him as being our, our Lord and Savior until I accepted him. When I accepted Christ into my heart, he came into my heart and he changed me. It's, it's almost as though, um, well, it's, the Holy Spirit walked into me and began to break things off my life and just really begin to do wonders and do miracles in my life. And, and I'm not going to say my way has been perfect because it has not. It's been times I've strayed. It's been times I've made mistakes. You know, it's been times I've done things that I regret. But I know, just like that scripture says in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, that when we come to Christ, we are a new creation. All old things have passed away. Wait, whatever you did yesterday, whatever you did the day before that, you just ask God to forgive you of that, and he will do just that. It doesn't matter. I know some of us have been in church all our life, and we haven't really been through a lot of these circumstances. And you can best believe that if you're not in a storm, you're going to come to a storm at one day in your life. Your life is not always going to go smooth and perfect. And we all know that because the word of God declares in Romans 3.23 that we all have sinned and we have fallen short of the glory of God. And the important thing is, is to have, is to invite Jesus to come into your heart so that you'll know that whatever happens to you, you'll be going to heaven. That's the most important thing. And that's one of the things that I want to stress. I can remember when I became born again and I said to myself, I said, Lord, I said, if I really known you were real, if you would have sent someone to me that maybe looked like me or is similar to me in some way and that could came to me in some type of cool way and really explain it to me in a good way, I think I would have become born again at an earlier age. But nevertheless, I believe that God knows when it's our time. He said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man shall hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him. So we know that God is a spirit. You know, he comes to us. He is the creator of the universe. And when we accept him into our heart, we may not feel a difference right then. We may not feel like things are becoming new. But know over time that as we stay in the word of God, as we read the word of God, whether we read it on our iPad, whether we read it on our Kindle or whatever electronic device, our phone, we read it on. When we get the word of God in our hearts, the word of God is able to change us. The word of God is able to renew us, to strengthen us. It's been times in my life where I struggled. It's been times in my life where I failed. But I picked myself up and I dust myself off and I said, for God I live and for God I die. And it's sometimes that we have to stand in the mirror and encourage yourself. We're not always going to have people around us to encourage us. It's times where you need to say to yourself, I can do all things. Through Christ who strengthens me. You know, sometimes the enemy tries to come at me still today. Even sometimes I feel as though I'm not exactly where I want to be, especially in these videos. But the Lord will come to me with another word and declare to me that despise not small beginnings. Because we have to crawl before we walk. And I'll tell you what, we serve an awesome God. He is good. So I encourage you today to always start your day off with God. I found out that my day goes a whole lot smoother. It goes a whole lot better when I wake up, when I acknowledge God, and when I give him my day. Things may not go the way I want them to go, but I'll tell you what, as long as I have the Lord by my side, as long as I'm walking with my hand in his hand and he's leading me, the Lord will make your crooked path straight. So I encourage you today to get in your word, stay in your word, to get in prayer, stay in prayer. If you don't have a prayer partner, get a prayer partner because a prayer partner is a great thing to have. Talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.